Hey, welcome to the Insurance Buzz. I am your host, Michael Weaver, and today I am excited to share my top takeaways from the recent Heroes of Zero conference I attended, where I got to hear from David McKnight, Tom Higna, Ed Slott, Van Miller. We're talking about legends in the industry, and the whole concept of the conference was to minimize the amount of taxes that you pay in retirement and to help your clients minimize their taxes that they pay in retirement to try and pay 0%. All right, try to pay 0%. That's the whole concept of this conference. And I had so many takeaways. I'm extremely fired up. And the reason I wanted to share these with you is because not only do I believe that it'll help you professionally, but I also think believe that it'll help you personally. At least I know for me, it did. It got me thinking about my own situation, my own planning. All right. Now, before I get into the takeaways, I want to start with this. The number one investment you will ever make is the investment that you make in yourself. All right. And you're doing it right now by listening to the Buzz Podcast. So thank you so much. Give yourself a pat on the back. Reading books. All right. Paying to get in rooms like this. Working with coaches and trainers in the industry, experts in the industry, that is going to help you improve. It's going to help you develop. It's going to help you grow as a professional. All right. And that's what it is all about, because the one thing no one can ever take away from you is your knowledge. And to be the best, you got to continuously invest in yourself and you have to surround yourself with the best. All right. So number one, First of all, thank you so much for listening to The Buzz today and getting better, and I hope this episode helps you get better. I hope this episode, again, affects you positively, both personally and professionally, so let's get into it. All right, so the very first thing I want to talk about, I'm going to share 10 takeaways, 10. All right, so number one, taxes are going up. Taxes are going up. Look, the government is irresponsible with their spending, all right? They're irresponsible with their spending. They spend way too much money. They spend more money than they bring in. It's irresponsible. Who is going to have to pay for that? You are and I am. All right. At least that is my belief. My belief is that taxes are going to go up. All right. In 2026, the tax break law is going to end, which means taxes are going up. Now, not a big deal. I don't think you should be concerned about that. Taxes are only going to go up by about 3%. They're going to return to where they were. That's not going to break the bank. But what I'm more concerned with is 2030, 2035. If the government continues to spend the way that they are spending, all right, which is out of control, in my opinion, no matter what political parties, all right, doesn't matter. They're both, both irresponsible, all right? Somebody's going to have to pay for that. And so the best way is to raise taxes to get me and you to pay for that. All right, so some of my peers at the in, in the conference were thinking, I mean, there was a real conversation around taxes are more than likely gonna double over the next decade. Think about that. So what can you do right now? What can you do to help your customers that are five years, 10 years out from retirement, make sure that they have a plan in place to minimize the amount of taxes that they are paying? All right, let's take away number one. Number two, I got this from Ed Slot. This is a good little saying, so, so I'd re- recommend writing this down. IRA, all right, IRA, which is an individual retirement account, all right, and IRA stands for an IOU to the IRS. <laughs> Catchy, right? IRA stands for an IOU to the IRS. Now, what does that mean? That means that all the money that you, if you have an IRA right now, it's never been taxed. If the customer has an IRA, got to be taxed, all right? So what this means is, is if taxes go up and they go to pull that money out in retirement, they're going to pay more taxes in the future than they could pay right now on their money. And so what you and I should be educating ourselves on to help the customer, all right, would be to convert those IRAs to Roth IRAs. Now, there is going to be a tax implication. All right, on this. So what does that mean? That means you need to educate, you need to research, all right? Because if you're gonna be making these type of recommendations to customers, you gotta know what you're talking about. 
But if you can help your customer convert IRA money to Roth IRA money and pay lower taxes now than taxes in the future, again, if you believe taxes are going up and your customer believes taxes are going up, this will be beneficial to them. All right, so IRA stands for an IOU to the IRS. Takeaway number three, assets make people miserable in retirement. All right, Tom Hagna. Tom Hagna with this one. Assets make people miserable in retirement. You know what makes people happy in retirement? Income, guaranteed income. And when you think about this, for years, we're taught to just save, 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 invest, invest, invest. And then and don't touch your money. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. And then all of a sudden we retire and we expect years of just, hey, we got to put money away. And now all of a sudden it's okay to flip the switch and be like, I need all that money back. No, that's not how it works because you want to know why you and I and customers are scared of running out of money and not having enough money in retirement, not having enough money and running out of money and being forced to go back to work. Assets make people miserable. Income, income makes people happy in retirement. So a recent study shows that people that have guaranteed income in retirement not only are happier in retirement, but they live longer retirements. They live longer and they're happier because you're taking the financial stress and burden, that, that thing in the, in the back of your head. It's like, gosh, I hope I never run out of money. I hope that I've done my job. That's what you're doing by helping them with guaranteed income. And what provides guaranteed income? Annuities. Annuities, pension plans, and social security. All right, so they'll get social security, but more than likely they don't have a pension. All right, pensions are, are just not a thing like they used to be. Now, teachers, police officers, sometimes city workers, look, pensions, and they're happy because they have guaranteed paychecks every single month, every single month, man. My father-in-law, he, he was a teacher. Every single month he gets a check. He says, <laughs> I've had a conversation with him. He's always like, man, I didn't have to work very hard this month for this one. <laughs> All right. So those checks just hit the mailbox. It's, it's mailbox money. That's what an annuity provides. Guaranteed paychecks the rest of someone's life. All right. Number four. Number four. This is a good one. This is a good one. All right. So pay attention here. This is something that you can use to tell your customers, get them thinking. Don't leave your kids money. Leave your kids life insurance. All right, I will repeat this. Don't leave your kids money. Leave your kids life insurance. And when you think about this, so let's say someone had a goal of leaving their kids a million dollars, generational wealth, something that's going to change generation after generation after generation, a million dollars. Why would someone want to take a million dollars out of their checking account and give to their kids when they could buy a million dollar life insurance policy for $200,000. Why? It doesn't even make sense financially. Why would you want to take a million of your own money when you could take, in this example, 200,000 pennies on the dollar and buy the same amount and it passes tax-free? Don't leave your kids money. Leave them life insurance, baby. All right. Number five. Number five. You need a plan for retirement. You need a plan. I need a plan. Customers need a plan. Everyone needs a plan for retirement. Look, the older I get, I'm going to sound like an old person right now, but the older I get, the faster time goes kind of like the old saying, the days go by slow, the years go by fast. And isn't that right? Courtney and I have been married for 10 years and it feels like it was just yesterday. It is insane how fast time goes. And if you do not have a plan in place for retirement, you are setting yourself up for failure. If your customers don't have a plan for retirement, they're setting themselves up for failure in retirement. No one at least I don't. I don't want to speak for you. Maybe you do want to work forever. I do not want to work forever. I do not want to be forced to have to work the rest of my life. 
And even if you're a business owner, I don't want to have to be forced to have meetings with my leadership team the rest of my life. All right, there's some obligations and responsibilities there, no matter how successful you are in your business and in your career. Look, when it's time to hang it up, I want to be able to say, see you later. I'm gone. I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to be playing golf. I'm going to be traveling the world. I'm going to be playing pickleball. All right, like those are the things I want to do. I don't want to be forced to work. I don't want to be forced to have management conversations. I don't want to be forced to make all these decisions. All right, and neither does your customer. No one is a Walmart greeter when they're 85 years old because they want to be. They have to be. All right, you have to have a plan for retirement. So be thinking, when do you want to retire? What do you want retirement to look like? How much money are you going to have to have in retirement to live the lifestyle that you want to live? And remember, every day is a Saturday in retirement, baby. Every day is a Saturday. So have a plan. Number six, this is from Tom Hegna's new book, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right. Invest in appreciating assets. Invest in appreciating assets. Now, what does this mean? Appreciating assets like the stock market, like real estate, like cash value life insurance that guarantees, all right, that your money's gonna work for you. Put your money in assets that are going to help you make money while you sleep. Have your money work for you, not against you. Now, what's the alternative here? The alternative is you put your money into depreciating assets, like, like new cars. All right. I love a new car. I love the smell of a new car. I love the way a new car makes me feel. But what I don't love about a brand new car is when you drive it off the lot, it instantly goes down in price. (laughs) Instantly down. You just paid 50 grand for a car. When you drive it off the lot, it's now worth $42,000. Ouch. That one hurts. All right. Would it have made more sense? All right. To maybe go out and buy a two year old car with low miles with the depreciation already taken off, all right? Just some things to think about. Make sure you are using your money to pay your future self and investing in assets that are going to make you money while you sleep. Invest in appreciating assets. Number seven, this is also from Tom Hegna. Who wants to be a millionaire? Master your craft. Master your profession. By mastering your profession, you're going to make more money. By making more money, you can invest in appreciating assets, more money, all right? Which pays your future self, which means maybe you can retire younger. Maybe you can have a a luxurious retirement, but master your profession. Look, I once saw a statistic from Brian Tracy. He said, specifically in sales professions, the top 20% of producers make 80% of the money. The bottom 80% of producers make 20% of the money. You have to be at the top of your profession if you are in sales. Not only this, by mastering your craft and your profession, you become valuable. You become valuable. You actually become invaluable to your customers. Your customers have to have you, all right? Make sure you master your craft, master your profession, become the absolute best you can be, find what you love, find what you are great at, and just master it. Number eight, number eight, this is a good recommendation for you. This is a good recommendation for your customer. For every $50,000 someone makes, they need a million dollars in life insurance. That is a 20X, 20 year income. Does that make sense? 50,000 times 20 is a million. All right, so for every 50,000, this is a recommendation that comes from Tom Hegna, your client needs a million dollars. Now think about this. Let's say that you, your, your customer were to pass away. Spouse received a check for a million dollars. They are not a millionaire. They are not a millionaire. Even in today's market, let's put it into a product, all right, or the market. Take 5% a year. 5% of a million is $50,000. All right, to make that million last, 5% is about all a financial advisor is gonna recommend you pull. 
All right, so for every 50,000, they have to have a million dollars in life insurance. Look, the reason that term life insurance is so expensive is because we sell it in terms of 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million. What term would you like for your family, Mr. and Mrs. Customer? That's why term insurance is so inexpensive. You can buy a huge amount of protection for a really little amount of money. All right, number nine, cash value life insurance and annuities need to be part of your retirement plan for it to be fully optimal. Now, this isn't Michael Weaver saying this. This isn't Tom Hegna. This isn't David McKnight. It's not Ed Slott. It's not Van Miller. These are studies that are saying this. BlackRock, Ernst & Young have both put out studies over the last two, three, four years. These are companies that don't even sell life insurance. These are companies that don't even sell annuities. And they are saying, for someone to have a fully optimal retirement, meaning that they live a happier, longer retirement and never run out of money, that they need cash value life insurance and annuities to be part of that plan, all right? What they say is cash value life insurance needs to be 20 to 30%. Annuities need to be 30-ish percent. So think about this, cash value life insurance 30 annuities 30. And then the rest of the money needs to be in equities, the stock market. All right. If you did 20% maybe in cash value, maybe it's a 40% in annuities. Again, it goes back to the point I made in number three. Look, income makes people happy in retirement. Annuities are going to offer guaranteed paychecks, mailbox money for the rest of your customer's life, regardless of what the stock market's doing. If the stock market has a bad year, you have permanent cash value life insurance in that retirement portfolio as a volatility buffer. Because what you don't do with your money in the stock market is you don't sell low. You sell high, you buy low, you sell high, right? So if the market's bad, you use your, your life insurance money, tax-free go in, bam, as a volatility buffer, live off of that for a year or two, while your money rebounds in the stock market, then we're gonna start taking that stock market money again, All right? You have to have cash value life insurance and annuities and a retirement plan for it to be fully optimal and to live a happier, longer retirement and never worry about running out of money. Number 10, invest as much of your money into tax-free investment vehicles as possible, meaning a Roth IRA, a Roth 401k, cash value life insurance. Pay your taxes now. If you are of the belief system that taxes are going up, then it makes more sense to pay taxes on your money right now at a lower tax bracket. Then take that money, take that principal, invest into like a Roth IRA, a Roth 401k. Let your money work for you and never pay any taxes on that money again, even your gains, baby. All right, that's what it's all about. Invest in appreciating assets, invest in tax-free vehicles like Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks, cash value life insurance. Invest early and invest often, my friends, because time goes by fast. Make sure you're having these types of conversations with your customers. More importantly, make sure that you have a plan. Make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. Make sure that you have enough life insurance. Make sure that you have a plan for retirement. Make sure that you are paying your future self. Make sure that you are making sure that your money works for you and not against you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, let me know. Please share it. That would be amazing. Text me 816-727-7610 if you've never given us a review. A five-star review would be awesome. All you got to do is just scroll down real fast, whether you're on Spotify or on Apple, click the five-star review, maybe even say something about the insurance buzz. Other than that, I appreciate you. I appreciate you showing up today. Obviously, time and attention are by far our most important assets, and I appreciate you taking your time and spending it with me today. Go out and make it great. 